Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Elden Ring. Being that we're on episode 84, and getting farther into the game, I was thinking to myself, are we going the right way? Do we just want to kind of blindly adventure? And I said, you know what, let's hold off on that. Let's, let's look around, and, uh, you know, make sure we're not missing anything. And if you remember, when we were over here... And we killed General Radon. Well, first of all, let's recap. Last episode, we cleaned out the rest of Altus Plateau. Or the majority of it. There's still a dragon up here we need to fight, but we're not doing that right now. Um, when we were over here in Kaelin, and we killed General Radon uh, over on this island here, we saw that meteor whoo, come over and strike. <laughs> And we looked over from here, and we could see that column of debris kind of up in the air. So we're going to actually check out that column of debris. So we're here in Limgrave, and if you look, there is that column of gravity debris kind of doing its thing there. And we're going to check it out. We're going to see what's up with that, shall we? Uh, I will tell you, I'm going to be real rusty today. It has been... A while uh, since I've had a chance to play so oh wow this is a big hole I didn't realize how big this was look at this thing this is ginormous over here whoa cool all right we got to figure out how to get down inside of this uh, it looks like over there maybe Maybe the horse is not the best plan for this. And maybe nighttime is not the best plan? I don't know. We're just going to go. This looks scary. It's like this could go horribly wrong. Uh, let's go this way. Then down here, I guess. Yeah, let's figure out a way into here. Man, nighttime is really is making this kind of difficult. We got somebody down there. Let's watch him. Okay, he's having trouble. Man, maybe we do want to do this during the day when we can see just a little bit better. Because doing this at nighttime, kind of poopy. Is that our dude? Oh! Wasn't there a sight of grace here before? Is it gone? Did it get exploded? It did. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, maybe there wasn't one here. Hold on. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. All right, let's get over here and get this to daytime. This not being able to see is straight up for the birds. This way, right? Yeah, come on. Over here. Oh no, you know what? I'm thinking of uh, the weeping. I'm thinking of the weeping peninsula where we were down and there was a, uh, a, a spot right next to that dude. Here, it's not. The whole area is just different. You know, we came here as we cleared out Fort Haig. We cleared this out. Is Kenneth Haig is still there. Alright, let's see what this looks like in the daytime. Maybe this is a wee bit more approachable. We can actually, you know, see the ground. That might be useful. Oh no. It's using the power of fog to mess up our view. Well, I'm thinking down here, obviously. I think I see a way over here, maybe. Yeah, I think down here, maybe. I have a feeling the horse is just going to get us killed. In fact, yes. Drop the horse for a second and kind of look around. How do we get down here? Not this. Ah, maybe down there? Oh. 
Gonna have to maybe look for signs that show us which way to go. Ah, uh, yep, I think this way. Alrighty. Yeah, we'll go on down here. Gonna need the horse. No, I think you could probably just fall off here, right? Try jumping. How about we try rolling? Or just falling? Yeah, luckily, people have left us some messages on where to go. Ooh. It's a waterfalls. Look at all the water. Not that way. That ain't the way to go. Aha! Uh -huh. What have we here? Did he make it? Uh, let's get our drop checks. Take a look here. Safe? Yep, safe. Ah. This is the way. But, anything over here we should be aware of? Nope, no drops over there. How about over here? No, nothing there. Alright, here we go. Into this unknown area. Don't like this fog effect. Not a fan. Oh. What's this? It's just a lamp. Okay. So we have got... Dead end over here. Dead end here. You can drop down there, which I think you have to. Based on what I'm seeing. Let's get our lantern out door or anything over here? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nothing here. Yeah, you gotta drop down over here. Let's see. I mean, there's a lamp, so we're gonna go that right. That route. We're going to assume it is safe here. No enemies to lock on to. No, nothing. Golden Rune level 5. Uh, looks like you could cheat your way around the corner, but really no reason to do that. Let's keep going around here. The safe way. Anything back here? Nothing. Just dark and gloomy. Hmm. And death? Just dark and gloomy death? It's not what I'm looking for. It's not what my adventure's all about. Woo! And also, we're getting to the point in Elden Ring, it's becoming harder and harder not to, through osmosis, pick things up, because we are definitely, um, I mean, it's just everywhere. We are definitely seeing bits and pieces. Nokron, the Eternal City. Alrighty. Now, let us check this out. Obviously, we want to go where those lamps are. No question there. I see people have died here. So, let's take a look around. He just died from something. There's nothing I can lock on to. I mean, it wants me to get up there. Hold on. Am I going to get attacked?
I really want to go that way. Can you horse down here? Okay, you can't horse. I don't like the look of that jump. I really don't. I mean, that's obviously the safe way, but this... Yeah, this looked like treasure over here. Oh. Oh, again, Grug does not like... Still nothing to lock on to. Ghost Flame Torch. Well, that's a new one. Uh, what's that in? Bows and such? Shields. You know, 14 intelligence. A metal torch that burns with cold ghost flame. Tool of the fallen hawks who prowl the underground rivers. When the band's last embers were used up their long search, they began to burn the bones of their fellows, acquiring the cold ghost flame, but sealing their fate as dwellers of the underground for all eternity. Thrust it forward to set foes ablaze? Huh, okay. It's cool. And I know you might not be able to hear it, but I hear a beetle. So that is disturbing. Yep, there he is. There are, ooh, slimes down there, okay. So this takes us down to there. Some kind of fiery dog over there, or maybe a beetle, I can't tell. Over here, what are these things that are undulating? I mean, you see those too, right? I'm not just crazy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Some kind of slime enemy. Oh! 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 Hello, T-1000. What was that all about? Got a rune arc. That's handy. Oh, there's another one coming. Hello. Oh! Missed. Alright, so I'm just kind of getting a feel. So we're going to jump down there and we're going to run up there. But what about over here first? Like, this is back where we could have gone if we had jumped straight down. Oh, hello. Hello, good sir. Oh man, that's a hard to lock onto for some reason. Uh oh. Some bird bolts. Oh, that's what killed people. Oh, they can shoot at you. Okay. That's fine. Do you shoot up close too? No. What do they drop? Silver Tear Husk. A hardened husk shed by a formless life form known as the Silver Tear, found in around the Eternal City, material used for crafting items. The Silver Tear makes mockery of life, reborn again and again into imitation. Perhaps one day it will be reborn a lord. Oh, well, maybe if it's lucky. Okay, these... Oh, you're poopy. Okay, well, they have reasonable range on their attacks that we have to pay attention to. So we've got this area up here. That's not one of them, is it? Yeah, it's just some kind of... Oh! Oh! a mineable thing. Got it. Okay. So. What do we need to do here? 
We need to deal with this one first. I'm not even gonna worry about that bug. Not yet. Okay. Like, I can always come back for that bug later. When we have a, uh, a, a bonfire uh, that we can come back to. Because right now, we have no bonfire. I mean, we've got this guy here. It's glowing. Oh, you can run right off after him if you're not careful. Nascent Butterfly. Obvious boss arena. Uh, nope, nothing here. What is all this talking about? Item ahead. I mean, obviously in there is an item or something, but not, not here. Oh, try here. Thanks. Uh, nothing down that way, though. Yeah, like, you're not going to tell me there's not something back here going to jump us. Smithing Stone Fives. I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you very much. Nothing up here. Oh, wait. It's an acquire materials. Ah. One of these silver tear husks. Just all over. Oh, we got actual enemies down there. Like glowy lantern guys. Okay. over here. Is this where you drop? Oh yeah, right here probably. Yeah. Alright, we got a couple of patrolling dudes. We got a back area. Let's grab this. Who knows what we're up against down here. This looks ominous. You can probably hide in here. If you wanted to. There are probably ways to hide that don't involve having your lamp turned on, but, you know. I like to roll dangerously, apparently. Oh, these guys have the ghost flame lanterns. These must be the dudes that we just read about. Okay. Well, the less of these I have to fight at once, the better. Alright, they're not too tough. I can deal with that. Oh, they got an archer. Never mind. Ah, <laughs> why did I do that roll? Alright, so I guess we're just gonna... We're gonna run in there real quick. Oh, are we really going to have to drop all the way down? Was there no... Have we not found a sight... How have we not found a sight of grace? Down at the bottom. Did I just walk past one and not see it? That's frustrating. I'm just now realizing... Like, what this... Uh, what this means. How is there not one down there? There should have, there probably was one. I just missed it. Like it doesn't make sense that this is the run to get down. Not the way Elden Ring's been set up. It hasn't been, you know. It's been very forgiving with bonfire placement the whole game, and that just feels like an inappropriate distance for us to travel. Just to be honest here. Uh, over here. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. All right, there's gotta be a point of grace that I missed over here. I mean, this game does not make these runs that difficult. Or is there not? Is this an actual challenge to get down into every time? Who knows? I mean, it's not that difficult. I mean, let's be honest. This is not much of a, a run to get back to where we were. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a melted mushroom. Why, thank you. And now that we got the top items... Yeah, this is much quicker. Because you only have to go this way. We don't have to do the top of the roof. We can just go here. We can bypass that whole little section we did. I think we can probably just book it past most of this, right? Oh, not if we can't jump! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you can. You can just book it down here. Then we can book it past these. And then... Take a hit or two, which is fine. Okay, we got nothing out of that. Kind of sad, but that's okay. Oh, no! I'm having a little bit of trouble today. I'm having just a tiny bit of issue, it would appear. Oh, don't worry, we got this, folks. We'll figure it out. Let's try that again, shall we? Maybe? It'd be real nice not to die to that again. Just gonna put that out there, game. Again, there's got to be something. There's not one here, right? No. Apparently, we're... We're not the only one making this death run because, uh... You see other people running down here real quick. Maybe there just is no good, uh... Good point of grace along this way. Weird. Let's try this again. I'm also kind of sad that that uh, beetle turned out to be nothing. Past you, past all this. Yep, we know you're a thing. What am I doing? Where am I jumping? What in the world am I... I mean, just... I... I apparently really want to see uh, this loading screen again. I needed a couple more hits to get me through the game, apparently. Is only slightly embarrassing. It's a good thing no one's watching this on the internet or anything. That would be really... Mm, that would just put me in my place. Alright. Hopefully one last time for this nonsense. I would hope. Oh.
I mean, at least we're learning the way down here really good. I don't have a good response for that one. Woo! So here we are, Limgrave again. So silly. So just ridiculous. I would love to get down here and check out this new area and see what it's all about and see some cool new stuff. We got to see one cool new enemy. That was really cool. I was never even up here. Why are my souls... Well, there's no souls, but why am I up here even? The game decided we have to be careful. We'll be careful. Well, as careful as we can. Eventually, you just end up on full tilt and then just go, go, go. I'm not even going to grab that melted mushroom. I'm so angry. All right, we jump over here. We run past this one. We run past this one. We go down here and we jump on this little house here. Then we run over here and we jump on here. Past all these little dudes and we do not jump off the edge like an idiot. We go down here. And we have finally made it back to where we were like 10 minutes ago. How wonderful. There's a point of grace right there. We are going to book it to that point of grace. Like, we're literally just going to go. Like, I don't care. I don't care about anything. We'll come back. I see one right here, and we're going to touch it. Yeah. Here, how about you go home? Oh, I can't touch it right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now... Now we'll backtrack. Let's clear this little area out here. And make sure we didn't miss anything. Hey, buddies. Oh! They had some kind of status ailment. I don't know what this ailment is. Is it frostbite? Is that what they're giving us? I'm not sure. Can't tell for sure. Ooh, some ghost glove wart. Awesome. Definitely want some of that. And they drop Dukist Herb and some Spirit Flame Arrows. Well, let's find out what that's what that's putting on us here. Spirit Flame Arrows. Yeah, Frost Build. That's what I thought. Arrows set alight with Ghost Flame before firing. Deals magic damage. Also clicking with Frost. Used by the Company of the Fallen Hawk. Once ordered to explore the Eternal City. So these are dead members. Of the company of the fallen hawk. Got it. 
And there's some written over here. Let's just see what this says. We ignored it last time, but now... Whatever. Um... I wonder... I mean, is that a Band of the Hawk reference? If you're familiar with Berserk... Some clarifying white cured meat. What's that do? Boost focus. Okay. Um, if you're familiar with Berserk, which has all kinds of influences on the whole Dark Souls games, the Band of the Hawk is the mercenary company that Guts joins in Berserk. Welcome to Necron, the Eternal City. It took us a half hour to figure out how to get down here. But first things first. Obvious path is obvious. You know what I mean? Like, this is too obvious. This is too obvious that we're gonna die getting up here. That's probably the most obvious part about this. Woo! Oh, there's an item there as well. All right, well, I'm gonna get up there first. This seems the the most dangerous part of this. Come on, this is not supposed to be that hard, I don't think. Gonna make sure we're lined up. Oh no, that's not gonna get up there. Okay. This is a false trail. That's okay. There was a bad guy down here I thought I saw. Where'd he go? Oh no. Smithing Stone 3. I'll take it. I wonder how you get into that tower. Oh. You can just walk around the edge. That's where this guy went. And I'm gonna turn my lamp back on. It is just dark enough in here to be a little silly. Got some kind of fireflies, okay. Got a whole big out, like outside ring area here. Let's be a little aggressive. See what's going down over here. Really? Bro, we're being shot at. Somebody's not happy with our life decisions. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There we go. Okay, those are his arrows. Thought they might have been collectibles. They were not. They were just his arrows. Uh, got these guys just all over. Doing their thing. I don't like this layout. It's very openish. Stop punching your shield. Oh, they just hit you with their shield. Okay. Oh! Ghost Glove Wart Picker's Bell Bearing? Wonder what that does. Oh, wow. Ow! Come on. Let me get behind you. Then we gotta go deal with these shield dudes over here. Oh, we got a bell bearing to turn in at the old, uh, old round table. Surprised we didn't trigger this guy way over here, but well, let's just move it. Just move along. All right, so there's some kind of area back here. Aha. 
one guy. Just one guy. Just one guy. What are you doing? What's your plan? Just let me slowly get behind you, because that's a great plan. I approve. Nothing down here. Ooh, Mason Butterflies. Somber Smithing Stone level fours. More city over that way. Precious item ahead. Now, it wasn't as precious as you seem to think it is. Oh, he's got that cool red shield that we have one of. Well, that's neat. So dark. Come on, buddy. Don't have to get all the way behind him, which is good. Right, that takes us deeper into the city. Well, there's a church over there. Can we get inside of here? Yes. Is this a trap? I mean, obviously. <laughs> I saw that player ghost. I was like, we're being attacked from behind. Aha! They were going to try and attack us from behind. Nice. Good try, buddy. A larval tier, so we could respec if we want to. Oh, what is... No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on, buddies. So we got a larval tier. We can always respec. We've got a couple of those now, which is cool. Anybody else hanging out back here? Nope. Got like a little area here. Probably about to get surrounded because this is... Very brazen of me just to rush in here. But that's okay. Just those two, right? Yes. Should probably heal. Great Shield Soldier Ashes. I think I've seen these. Um, there they are. Uses some of five Great Shield Soldier Spirits, spirits of Great Shield Soldiers who belong to the Fallen Hawks, a band of soldiers that once explored the Eternal City, stout defenders of the Steady Guard. Though their methods are somewhat crude, they work well as a squadron, and will attract the attention of enemies or lob Ghost Flame from the rear guard. Handy. Smithing Stone Fives. That's what I like to see. All right, over here, what do we got? It's funny, because they have the eagle on the shield, like the hawk image, it does just make me think of the band of the hawk. And they're so emaciated. They could be Griffith. They look very much like Griffith after his torture. If you've never watched Berserk, go watch Berserk. So good. Old. Starting to age a bit. And watch the... the either read the manga or watch the original animated... Uh, show. Don't watch the new 3D one. That thing's just embarrassing for everyone involved. Nope. Nope. There's nothing here. Oh, wow, this place is big. Oh, there's a boss door already. And there's a Stake of America. So we got a pretty short boss run. More of this stuff all over. Oh, hello! You appear to be... 
A whippy? Oh! You're a whippy person. We have your whip, actually. We've picked up that whip before. We have that as an item. Well, let's, uh... Let's totally whip that attack. Oh! Yeah, you're a problem. Yeah, we can heal. There you are. It's like, where'd she go? Alright, stop it. Stop hitting us. Look, just stun lock yourself into oblivion, will ya? Oh, it's not a whip, it's a sword. Okay, it's a curved sword. I thought it was a whip, but it's not. Well, I mean, we'll be able to run past her to the boss room. I don't think that'll be a problem. Although, she seems the type of thing that would keep our summon kind of distracted during the fight. Nothing up here. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of scoping for enemies with the lock on. Yeah, obvious. Thanks, Frontsoft. I've played your games before. I don't know if you can hear it. There's this, like, slightly unnerving... That's an open arena. That means it's a cheesable boss. Uh, there's this slightly unnerving, like, chittering sound happening as part of the ambient music here. It's scary. Oh, hey! It's another one of them big dudes on a throne. Okay. Well, we, however, have a boss to fight, it appears. What's this say? Item! Oh. A rune arc, okay. We have collected so many of those. Ah, this boss opens up the rest of the city, okay. Well, let's see what we're up against, shall we? Uh, let's physic. Uh, let's heal just to be topped up. Let's get our ghosty boy ready and let's check out what we're up against here. Summoning Ghosty Boy. What are we fighting? Okay, we got one of these. That I can't hit. Oh! It's a dude! That's a... Oh! It's me! Help me, buddy! Oh, come on, we missed the backstab. I wonder if he heals. That'll be the viral question. Yeah, look away. Woo! Oh! Had a critical there. Luckily, I know what you're all about, buddy. Ow. I wonder why I can't backstab myself. There we go. I was to say, I should be able to backstab myself pretty easily. Oh, I can heal! Oh! Come on, Grug, get the shield up. Yeah, no more Estus for you, buddy. Yeah, I left that too late. Come on, what are you gonna do? Okay, it's fine. Ooh. Ooh, I'm really dodgy today. 
You want to get in here, ghosty man, and help fight? Maybe hit him? Or is he confused? Does he not know who he's supposed to hit? It's the one that's not me. The one with the beard. Who's obviously from the evil dimension. Got a larval tier and the silver tier mask. Ooh, and an achievement because I forgot to turn those off. <sighs> uh, well, I gotta turn those off before our next episode. Uh, what is that mask we just picked up? There it is. Mask fashioned from the corpse of a formless silver tier, supported by its hardened shed husk. Greatly increases arcane to the detriment of physical attack power. To imitate the imitator is a coming ploy indeed. Uh, point of grace. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, anything else in this little area? Not that I can see. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Go ahead and rest up here. And that, folks... Oh no. Is this another broken one of these? Oh no. This is the second one of these we ran into after a boss. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna load back in and see if it fixes that. I think I tried this before and it didn't. That's eminently frustrating. I mean, there should be... Hopefully they patch that. That's unfortunate. I, I wonder if that's in the other versions of the game, too. This little error. Again, that's the second boss we've defeated. Then it loaded in a point of grace for defeating the boss. But the point of grace just doesn't work. So let's see here. Loading back it. There we go. That fixed it. Woo! I was concerned for a minute. I was going to be sad. Well, folks, that means that we need to go deeper into the city. Oh, hey, look! That's where we fought the, um, the antelope beast. Isn't it? I think that's where we fought the antelope beast. And then over there is where that crucible knight is that we have yet to defeat. We have to go back to at some point. Huh. Well, we got a whole cool section of a bridge to go across here, and we will definitely be checking that out. I wonder how you get up there. No, no. Um, you know what? I don't trust. I don't trust people anymore. Let's let's check the outside of this real quick before we wrap up the episode. Do I just can't trust people anymore. Oh, speaking of the Crucible Knights, we need to learn how to parry to beat them. The same way that in Dark Souls 1, we had to learn how to parry to beat the Silver Knights. So, that's the plan for them. Uh, yeah, there's no item here. They didn't lie. I should have believed, and I didn't. Well, folks, that's okay. Oh, we got a little bit deeper into here. Uh, we got to a little boss, which was a mimic of us. We fought Dark, Dark Link, and we were successful. So next episode, we will carry on this way. Until then, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you soon. Hey.